Hey everybody, it's Melanie, the Carnivore Queen. I'm so glad that you're here today and that you're watching my videos and I hope you really like them. I just wanted to do a really quick video on something that I experienced. Uh, I used to drink these, um, these sparkling waters, okay? And I started having some really weird symptoms and thought that it was something completely different. And it turned out to be these sparkling waters that are completely sweetener-free, uh, you know, sugar-free. They're, uh, they're totally natural, you know, everything. They have nothing bad in them, okay? Um, I was drinking the brand AHA. It's A-H-A. Um, and I had... I want to say I had about three cans and I had not had sparkling water in weeks and weeks okay so I mean my I was completely no probably months and uh, I I had some at a, at a get-together a party that night I experienced some of the craziest stuff I had burning feet that's the only thing I can describe is that it feels like my feet are on fire. Um, almost like some kind of uh, blood pressure weird feeling in my feet. I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, kind of pins and needly, pins and needles. Yeah. Uh, it honestly sounds like diabetic uh, neuropathy. Like something like that I've heard on TV that people get. Um, so I had the burning feet, I had my uh, tumid lupus started acting up, so like my elbows started just like itching immediately. Uh, when I woke up the next morning, my hands were doing that thing where you try to close them and it feels like they're just so stiff. And just, ugh, it's a gross feeling. And the kicker was I had nightmares the entire night and like woke up sweaty. So, that wasn't fun, and I decided from that point forward that I was never going to have those again. But my curiosity wanted to know, well, how could something so harmless harm me? Why was this, this uh, seemingly, you know, just innocent little drink doing all these things to my body? And so, of course, what do I do? I turn around, I look at the label after the fact and it says naturally flavored with other natural flavors I'm like what the hell does that even mean all i know is if it says natural flavors run like do not put that in my body um natural flavors are a code word or like a cover-up for who knows what but i know they're a cover-up for msg in other products like um, like canned soups and Doritos and things like that, all the processed foods. So for that to be in a seemingly innocent can of sparkling water blows my mind. And the thing that really sucks is that I can't have that either, you know? And it's like, dang, I thought I was going to be able to have that on my little list of uh, things I get to enjoy that are food, you know, or drinks. Not so. So, those are out. I know, stinks. But I was just wondering, have you guys ever had anything that it's like nobody else has a reaction to, but you did? Um, or have you had a reaction to these sparkling waters? And maybe it's something that other people are experiencing and nobody's talking about it. I don't know. Uh, I did look up LaCroix. I guess that's how you say it. Um, and I know they got in some trouble because they they put on their label naturally essenced. And, you know, you think, well, what does that mean? And, you know, that it could be who knows what it is. But uh, anyway, instead of going down the rabbit hole of, well, what's in this? I just, I say, forget it. I won't drink it anymore. I eliminate it from my diet. So much easier to do that for me. Um, to just cut it off as crappy as that is it, it it's actually easier 
uh, to just completely eliminate it from my diet. So let me know in the comments if you've had, had any experiences like that. And um, yeah, I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.